Hey what's up guys, Chris here from Security Bros back with another video and today I will be reviewing the Sunba Illuminati auto tracking PTZ IP camera. This is a newly released camera from a company called Sunba and this camera comes with a lot of nice features. And the main selling point of this camera is that it can auto track moving objects using line cross tracking, perimeter tracking and preset tracking. Image quality is really good, probably the best I've seen so far from a 1080p security camera. And the 25x optical zoom makes it really easy to read license plates or to identify a person. Also the speed of this camera is really fast, so it shouldn't have any problem capture fast moving objects. And even though this is one of the cheapest smart tracking PTZ cameras you will find on the market, it's not a cheap camera. As of right now when I make this video, the camera sells for $460 on Amazon. And for full transparency to you guys, Sunba did send me this camera over for review. However, any opinions in this video is strictly my own based on my experiences testing this camera out. And if you are interested in buying this camera you will find my affiliate links in the video description down below with the most updated prices. So the camera records in 1080p at 30 frames per second using a Sony Starvis sensor. And the camera can pan 360 degrees and tilt 105 degrees and it comes with a 4.8 to 120mm very focal lens. I really like how fast and accurate the autofocus was and if ever needed you can also manually focus the lens. Something to think about as well is that if you're planning on power the camera using PoE, this camera requires PoE plus since the standard 802.3 AF protocol only delivers 15.4 watts and this camera needs at least 25 watts to work properly. The camera has a built-in microphone that is good enough for normal surveillance but if you need really good audio quality, you can connect the camera directly to an external microphone or to a mixer. It also supports Unviv, so you can use this camera with most brands NVRs or third party softwares as long as they are Unviv compatible. Another feature is that you can live stream directly to YouTube since it supports RTMP stream and I will show you later on in the video how to do that. You can also use an app on your smartphone called Guarding Vision to remotely watch live view or playback. However, to get push notifications you would need to register on their cloud platform. Ok so what we get in the box is the camera, wall bracket, user manual, sticker and a power adapter. My first impression was that it's a really big and heavy camera. The bracket and the camera together weighs 4 kilos and here you can see a comparison in size with some other PTZ cameras I've tested before. As you can see this camera is massive. The bracket and the upper part is made of metal and the lower part is made of plastic. And overall it feels like a high quality built camera that will last a long time being outdoors. You can manage the camera through a web interface, client software and the smartphone app. So to access the camera using your web browser, you first need to find out what IP address your router has assigned for it. And the easiest way is to either download a search tool called SADP from Sunbus website or you can log into your router and check the device list. When you have the IP address of the camera, Open up your web browser and type the IP address in the address bar. The username is admin and the password is admin12345 with capital A. First time you will need to download a web plugin to be able to view the camera. Ok so in here we have access to all the settings. I will quickly show you all the settings but first I want to show you how the smart tracking works. Here on the right we get the presets and how this camera works is that it uses special preset commands that are already programmed into the camera and cannot be deleted. So for example preset 92 is factory reset. So if I would click on that now the camera would reset back to factory settings. Preset 50 is intrusion tracking, 51 is line cross tracking and 53 to 59 are preset tracking. So if I click here preset 51 it will activate line cross tracking and to set it all up we go to configuration, event, smart event and then line cross detection. Here we can draw where we want our line and also change what direction we want to activate the tracking. You can have up to 4 lines. 
You can also set an arming schedule if you want the tracking at specific times. By default it will track 24-7. And in linkage you can set up how, how you want to get notified. Intrusion detection have the same settings, but instead of only using a line, here we can for example set up tracking around a certain area or an object. If we click on PTZ and then smart tracking, we get the main settings where we can set up the time how long we want the camera to track before it going back to its original position. And then we get the sensitivity. This is something you need to play around with to find out what works best for your situation. Ok, I will quickly show you all the settings now. Ok so here I've set up a live stream directly to YouTube. It's really easy to set up and worked really good. There is maybe a 10 second delay as you can see here if I move the camera a little. So what we need to do to set it up is copy the stream URL and then add a stream key at the end of the URL. Then log in to your camera and go to configuration, network, advanced settings and then RTMP. Here we can add a YouTube stream URL. If we go to video and audio you can see my settings but you might need to test tweaking the frame rate and the bit rate and see what works best for you. For a more detailed step-by-step -step tutorial, you should head over to Sunbus YouTube channel. Okay, let's have a look at some recordings I did. This is me testing line cross tracking. And here I've set up intrusion tracking, as you can see here I can walk next to it without trigger the tracking, so it is very accurate. This is night time but not in complete darkness since there is street lights just across the street. I've also turned off the auto zoom here. And I only use the default setting here so I'm sure you can get even higher image quality by tweaking the night vision settings. And this is nighttime without night vision turned on. Alright guys, I think that's all I had for this video. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. See you!